there's a bird. It's just standing on the pavement. It's probably just confused. Yeah, hopefully it's not hurt or anything. I do see some branches. Might have fallen out from this tree. You never know. Let's walk to it. Maybe it'll fly away. Oh. Hi everyone, how's it going? So it's a Typhoon 8. Uh, winds are actually quite strong. Relatively. Have a look. So you can see it's relatively calm. People are jogging. The seas are still quite rough though. So I guess the Hong Kong Observatory is correct in that uh, they should take precautions. We don't want to um, have any unfortunate accidents should the signal be prematurely dropped to a Category 3. So let's have a look at the sea. So you can see it's actually quite windy. Um, the wind is strong enough to force the water out of the sea at particular points, at specific points. So you can see here. Yeah. Unfortunately, as I said in my previous uh, video entry, a lot of uh, trash does accumulate, does pool at specific parts uh, of the ocean, in the coastal areas surrounding uh, Hong Kong. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, uh, but you know it's just one of those things. Uh, if uh, items are not secured properly, you would end up uh, losing them at sea. So let's just have a look at the waves here. Let's have a look at the bay. There is still some light rain, it's not as strong. And my dad did go down earlier. I think it would go down, it will be downgraded by at least uh, 4 o'clock today. There is a lot of leaf litter though, a lot of broken twigs, broken branches, etc. So let's have a let's see the damage actually. So just walking through. Again, we have our trees, relatively safe. Uh, as I said, the major impact of the typhoon is now over. Now we're just feeling bits uh, of its uh, tail, I guess, as it leaves the, the Hong Kong area towards um, Hainan Island, which is a part of China. So let's have a look. It's starting to rain. There are more people outside. I guess they just want to see the aftermath as well. So, the winds have taken care of most of the trash. You see, uh, obviously, birds would not want to come out at this stage. That's the branch I moved yesterday. And you can see there are some other ones. So, actually, even now, walking through this area may not be such a great idea uh, since uh, you know material may still fall from the trees. Have a look at this. Yeah. This, uh, maybe the situation is uh, worse uh, down the line, but so far so good. It's actually not that bad. So I do recommend that you guys, uh, you know, take the opportunities once the signal is down to actually just inspect your own areas. You know, hopefully everything is fine, everything is in order, and of course you should help out where possible. Um, obviously, you don't mean uh, cleaning the entire area. That would be great if you can, but you know, remove the major obstacles. You can see. Have a look at 
the water and closer. You can see the direction of the wind as well. It's forcing every, uh, the water through this channel. Again, that's Layun Mun village. I just wonder if there are people out and about on the other side, just like us over here. Actually, the wind, the pressure generated by the wind that causes the problems, it can force uh, the water into your windows. So you have to be very careful whenever you are preparing for a typhoon. You don't want to take any risks. Objects could be flying around, they could smash into your windows, so many people have actually taped up their windows. But you can see it's pretty clear. So we'll scoot on ahead to the other side. the typhoon many people want to take a picture many people want to make videos you know Heng Fa Chen is a poster child for typhoons especially in the past few years it seems to be the most uh, most negatively affected area in Hong Kong winds really died down. It's probably because the typhoon is on the other side of Hong Kong now. It's probably past this area. That being said, although it's calm here, it may not necessarily be calm in those areas that it's presently at. So let's just hope for the best for everyone. 
There is some very minor coastal flooding, very minor. It's probably because the drains are quite clogged up with the leaf litter and other debris. So you can see here. So again, if you do see drains like this, if they are covered, try to free them out so that the water has a root. There is always, always garbage around. So you can see here, the Heng Fachun property management has basically erected these barriers to prevent mass inflow of water. And this is a precaution they started taking ever since Mong Kor hit. And I think it's very, very good of them to adapt. And hopefully, uh, should there be a more severe typhoon, then it would help mitigate the damage to the property and people. That's interesting. I noticed that the crane has been moved so that it's no longer resisting the, the, the direction of the wind. That's actually very smart. That way um, there's less, uh, less stress on the structure. But you can see here, there are many people out and about. I just want to record this moment. But personally, I think... Um, Fachin just seems to be getting a lot of unnecessary exposure. That's cool. So, in my previous uh, video, I was wondering why they put this barrier right in the middle. And I kind of realize now, you see, it's actually serving as a bridge between two barriers. Very smart. Yeah, that's the beauty of a, sm of a smart mind. Yeah, it's just basically good planning, all around good planning. So it is windy, there are clouds. But yeah, I think the worst is gone. The worst is over. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. I'll try to keep it short. But yeah, uh, hopefully everything should be fine. Take care guys.